Welcome. And follow me, I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and today I will show you how you can apply a tempered glass to this phone. Now I'll be using uh, tempered glass from this brand right over here, which I do highly recommend. I already applied a couple different ones from them. And this specific thing that I have right here uh, comes with two different tempered glasses along with a uh, lens protection for the back, which is really freaking nice. Uh, now I'll also add, I'm not sponsored by them in any kind of way, I just enjoy the product that I got right here, which is, uh, well, obviously purchased with my own money. Anyway, let's just open that up. Now this specific one might be a little bit harder to apply compared to like the S22 and or S23 and S23 Plus because we do have a little UV lamp. This is technically a curved display. So the glass we have right here is also curved. But luckily, they did include two different tempered glasses with, for us. Now this is very flimsy. Uh, now this is still a glass, so keep that in mind. And I'm gonna gently place it aside. Like I mentioned, uh, we have a second one right here. So if something messes up with the first one, maybe you break it later on, you can always re replace it with the second one right over here. Now this right here that I have will need to be plugged in somehow, which I'm not exactly sure how. Is that a Type-C port? No, that can't be a Type-C. How the heck do I plug this in? Let's see. And there's nothing about about plugging it in. We do have uh, the a little liquid that will spill right here, so we can apply. This is basically a glue that will be activated using the UV light. But first, I should figure out how to actually plug the UV light in. Unless it's one of these crappy little plugs. Which... Oh no, I don't have it. So I have this one, super short, but... No, that will not do. Type C, maybe? Yep, oh, it looks like it's Type C. Now I'm going to quickly check if this is actually working. Okay, so it's not on. Ah, there we go. Now it's working. So this is the Type-C plug right over here. So, yeah. Okay, hopefully I can get this correctly done uh, first time around. I will be actually honest, this is the first time I am applying the curved one. I know how to do it, I just never actually have done it. But before we go any further, get that here. So th these are the two things that we will need. And here we have a package for cleaning our screen. There we go. Perfect. So that's all we have in here. Uh, so we have two different stickers. Uh, I'm gonna use one. Out of, obviously we have two because we have two different tempered glasses included. Uh, the lens protection I will be applying in a separate video, so I'm gonna throw that back in the package. And this is all we will need. So I'm gonna get one of these. So this is a wet wipe. And I'm also going to rip that off. Uh, just a temporary temper glass that I put on here just to protect the screen. So there we go. Now, 
I should probably start off uh, before I clean off the display uh, with showing you how we're gonna apply it. So the rough process here is we're gonna first clean off the display. So you wanna just make sure that it's completely clean, no dust particles, no nothing. Then you will open this up, you will drip it onto the middle of the screen. And then you'll take this, you will peel off this layer right over here, and you'll just simply plop it on here. Now once it's on here, you can then obviously align it. It will be, uh, you know, uh, the moisture under there from this uh, little UV uh, glue. It will allow you to just shift it around a little bit so you can place it in position. Now it shouldn't be sliding as much as it is doing right now. Once you have it in place, uh, you will then want to use this to basically hover over it and just kind of like slowly uh, just shine it onto the screen. Now, you might be wondering why the heck would I be shining just a little blue light on it? Uh, this glue is UV activated, which means this UV light will start to make it uh, make the glue under it harden. And obviously this will make it so the glass will stick to it. Uh, this method is used for any kind of glass that is uh, curved, which this one is a little bit, well, it's curved in two different ways, not the correct ones. Okay, that's probably how it should be. As you can see, there is a little bit of a curve right here. That kind of like curves to align with the screen right over here. And this one has like this little bend, weird bend. So as you can see, it is bowed a little bit, which I don't think should be like this, but whatever. We will deal with this if we have to. Okay, so now that we got this out of the way, let's begin cleaning off our display. Now I am gonna grab, no, not this, where is it? There we go, a little bit of a foam pad. So I can place the phone on it. And because whatever they use in here is pretty decent, we actually don't need to use the microfiber cloth to clean off the rest of the display. It's already basically clean without any kind of specks of dust. Now, next thing that I recommend doing is prepping one of these things. So just unstick it and I'm gonna stick it to like the edge of the table. So I'll pull it off when I need it, uh, right before I will apply the glass. And what you will you will do with it is once you have some dust, you will just kind of do this to get rid of the dust. So I'm gonna stick it to the table and have it ready. So we unscrew the little cup right here. Before I do so, I'm just gonna give it a last check. Okay. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to kind of show this. I'm not sure if it's really that visible. Let's 
you can see there is a little bit of a drip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The table is crooked. We have a problem. And now I'm gonna try to deal with this. There we go. I will be honest, this is absolutely sketch. Oh crap. Now we need to put something under the phone so we can prevent this from sliding. Hopefully I have enough trash around here. Now, because of this uh, little incident, I do have a little bit of a speck of dust that have settled right over here. And also my fingerprints. Okay. So now that we got that kind of sorted in a way, just make sure that it's in the middle. We also have a little bit of a different problem. That is not ideal. But I should have something around here to clean that off with. I guess let's just use this microfiber cloth. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is peel off this. Come on. Come on. Now it's not wanting to peel off, which is a little bit annoying. And that's not good. Okay, now this is going completely wrong, which I guess might be good for the video. Because I cannot peel that off for the love of God. There we go. I am gonna just simply drop it on here. Not sure if the camera is picking this up, but right now I'm just holding it in from sliding off the table. Now give it a moment. It's right now just kind of spreading the liquid that is in, in there. You want to make sure that it's covered 
all the way, which I do have a little bit of a dry spot right here. So I'm kind of lifting it up, hopefully. Now that is not going as planned. So we do have a little bit of a drip right over here. I'm gonna... So it didn't go like it should because we had a problem with a table being crooked. So one thing to keep in mind, you do want to have a nice flush table. Now you can use this microfiber cloth just to get rid of this uh, excess of glue. Yes, we'll have to deal with what we got right here. Now, this is not ideal. Hopefully, in your case, it actually spread all the way like it should, supposed to. So, anyway, now the next step would be to grab our little UV light. Plug it on Type-C. There we go. As you can see, it's shining. And you simply just want to hover, move it up and down. Now one thing that I'll mention, this spot that I had right here, it's almost completely gone. So it did at the very end fix itself up a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I want to do is do this for a couple minutes. As you can see, there's uh, some that I have right here of the glue left over. A little bit of like shiny. You can see how quick it thickens right here using this. Actually, before I continue this, hopefully, okay, I can wipe that off. Okay, good. Anyway, continuing. So, at this point, you basically want to continue this till the uh, the glue dries, which will take, I believe, like up to five minutes of doing this. And from there, you're basically good to go. You can now, uh, well, now you can basically afterwards start using your device with a nice screen protector. Now, I'm going to cut it right here just so you don't have to see me just fiddle this around for another couple minutes up and down just because it's a little bit boring. And that is basically the last thing that we need to do. So I'm going to do this off the camera, just continue obviously doing this. And once I'm done, I'm going to move on to the next video, which will be applying a little uh, lens protection, which uh, compared to this will be a breeze walk in the park just because you peel off a little end, you stick it on there and you're good to go. There is no UV light needed or anything like that. So yeah. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like 
subscribe and thanks for watching.